Sterling Rodden. It's a small town with a big heart. What brings this small town together? Hockey. This Canadian tradition beats in the heart of every Canadian. The official Hockeyville winner, this town has a special connection to the sport. But who is behind the passion? Who keeps the ice ready for Canada's hockey hopefuls? This arena started in 1977. This arena was built. Come from the old arena downtown. As you can see, the old rink sign in the background, that was off the old arena. We brought that up here and refurbished it. Um, for the most part, you know, I say sometimes we're glorified janitors. We know a lot of it takes time. To, we clean the place. So if I get a compliment in a day that says, uh, you know what, your ice is great and the building is clean, that's it. so that's what we do. We make sure that we've got great ice and make sure we got a clean building where the public can come into but feel like they want to be here, you know, it's, it's a lot of kids doing, uh, you know, they, they're out here and they all want to be NHL hockey players or the next Dorothy Hamill or whatever, so uh, we try and make that environment as nice for them as possible. I mean, for the kids it's a place to come, camaraderie amongst the kids, get to know each other, a uh, place to get good exercise. It's just a, a family place, a, a community centre basically. Uh, I get here in the morning, check compressors, make sure that this place is still going to run for the next day and then it's a matter of going through and making sure, doing my checks for the rest of it as everything else is in, in shape and so on. And then from there it's probably meetings, paperwork, um, you know, and, and making sure that everything is, is going to be up to date for the next week and the next month. Richard is an integral part of the arena's functionality and every day he strives to honor Barry's memory. Barry Wilson, my, uh, my predecessor and my boss, uh, passed away just over a year ago. Um, it's hard to refer to him as a boss because he was, um, I don't know, it, this wasn't a job for him more or less. This was, uh, this was almost his life here at the arena. Um, Barry had this unique uh, thing where he knew everybody that came through the arena. And I don't just mean everybody, I mean he knew the kids, he knew them, he knew their brother or sister, uh, maybe they were involved in hockey, maybe they weren't. Uh, he knew their families, uh, Barry grew up, I guess, in this area, so I, part of that big part of why he knew everybody. It was amazing that he could remember everybody's name. Um, I always had the hardest time, when I was, and he'd always know, you know, who was it and, and where they're from and, and uh, how old they were and all the rest of the stuff. So. A pretty amazing feat considering all the thousands and thousands of people that come through here every year. Barry um, was such a big person because he kind of represented what the whole thing about Sterling was about. You know, that friendly, hometown guy that just cared about everybody that came into the place. So um, I think that's why that's why everybody always seemed to love Barry so much is that they knew he cared and knew that he loved this place and, and, and cared about everybody that came through the door. So. The Sterling Rodden Arena is a place where the community can get together. Not only to celebrate being Craft Hockeyville 2012, but to celebrate everyone who makes this arena an amazing place. <laughs>